Hello and welcome to today's session, uh, taking a look at Checkmark's code bashing solution. I think we'll look at it from a couple ways, one from the user's perspective or the developer, how fun and engaging that is, and then also more from an AppSec awareness platform approach or more the administrator. So what is code bashing? Code bashing is a secure development awareness and training platform. Uh, it supports both a reactive and preemptive approach to reduce your software exposure. Probably more importantly, from a developer point of view, it's fun. It's a gamified, interactive way, very short, bite-sized lessons that walk you through how a vulnerability occurs, demonstrate the situation, and even provide some remediation guidance. So let's go ahead and walk through kind of the day in the life of a developer. I'll keep it high level. Uh, the developer will actually see up here their menu. This home is their home dashboard that's going to show them kind of their training progress, details of their primary course. You can see I'm in Java. I can move to my next lesson. Uh, we also can assign lessons. I can come down here and see the completed courses or certifications that I've gained. Um, a fun and engaging way is with badges. So if I highlight over here, it'll tell me what I need to accomplish to gain that badge. Also the leaderboard, at the end of every lesson there's a quiz. So you can have a little friendly competition within your organization. If I go over here to courses real quick, I have full access to the entire course catalog. And then if I jump in here, we'll just briefly go through a lesson and what it would look like for a developer you'll see the list of lessons that I have here. Uh, if I've completed them, some of these are focused on OWASP Top 10 or CWE or SANS. Uh, if I enjoyed this and I wanted to share it with a colleague, I could do that. But let's briefly go in here real quick. And as I had mentioned earlier, really it's a very short lesson that helps the developer understand how a vulnerability occurs. So what we do different is we set up the how, the why, and the what. So we do set up kind of a role play environment here with Alice the hero, and Bob the bad guy. And from a navigation perspective, you'll see the number of steps that I need to go through, and I won't go through all of these. But over here, we have a narrative that helps walk the developer through this story, kind of wearing the hacker's hat. We have a live user interface. One of the things that developers really like is to see what takes place on the back end as well. And as you can see, I'm going through, I have to interact with this. So as I mentioned before, this is not video based, so you can't just click play and walk away and come back. You do interact with it. So Alice is trying to log in and doesn't remember her password. I type that information in, you see I get an error. And then over here, she's going to try it again. So we just kind of walk through, and I'm just going to do this real quickly. But as we walk through, we start walking the developer through the scenario. Here's why. Does this make sense? Pretty straightforward. And as you can see, I'm already halfway done with this lesson. So I keep going through it. We even emphasize and comment everything out to show the specific line. And if they understand this, and then we kind of just walk through these scenario where she's gonna try some other passwords. Then we're also gonna show a SQL statement here, the or one equals one. And if any of you know SQL, we know what will probably happen. I was able to access the portal, so authentication was bypassed. So we kind of set the stage here. And then in every lesson, we always provide remediation guidance. And the value here is I could be watching this as a developer within my IDE and go make the appropriate changes to my code and maybe rerun that scan. So I just wanted to give a brief overview of the day in the life of a developer. They also have the ability to do challenges. Challenges at any time is a great way to test your skill set against your peers. You can have some friendly competition, uh, maybe give away prizes or a plastic trophy or front row parking for the month. You get the idea, but there are 10 questions, 60 seconds each. The quicker and correctly you answer it, the higher the score you get. So we took a look at it from a developer's point of view. And then from a high level, what you're looking at is from an administrator's point of view, or when we start looking at this from an AppSec awareness program, 
how can I manage it and administrate it and give me meaningful information to assess where we are, how things are going. I won't go into all these details. We have a great ability here to leverage assessments which organizations can then send out and get a very strong baseline of how well the organization is doing or knows how to code securely. We can then focus maybe training on areas that we're not doing well and not have to go through all the training. Uh, developers can go through and actually uh, test out taking these assessments where it will automatically mark their training complete, thus reducing the amount of training that they need to take. If I can show proficiency, I shouldn't have to go through that course again. So I wanted to thank you for your time. Just wanted to give a brief overview of code bashing from the developer's perspective, and then also some of the capabilities here from an administrator point of view.